going to have a look at all the different piano VSTs I accumulated over the last couple of months. I'll be showcasing plugins, VSTs, libraries, and I'll try to rank them according to a scale I came up with. The thing I want to point out is that I find some of the better sounding pianos don't come as standalone plugins, but are part of bigger free libraries. You see what I mean towards the end of the video. After some testing and trying out dozens of free pianos, I decided on four qualities a good free piano should have. The most important thing for me is versatility. Because a versatile piano can replace three more limited libraries and you still get the results you want. The other three categories are pretty self-explanatory. I'd say a plugin is better if it offers inspiration, good sound quality and if the sound can be customized to taste. To test the pianos a bit more methodically, I prepared a MIDI file with some different styles of pianos ranging from loud pop to very quiet notes to programmed chords and melodies. As a reference, here is the MIDI played by my Kawaii MP7 digital piano. That sounds bad. I mean, it's too dull. The first piano we just had a look at is the Ragtime Piano by Native Instruments. It comes with Complete Start and it's part of Band, which is part of the factory selection. I didn't really like it. I would give it a 3 out of 10 for versatility. It wasn't that inspiring or that great of sound quality. And it's pretty customizable, but not, not perfect. Uh, overall, I give it a three and a half out of ten. Next one. The Forte Free. It's kind of a mixed bag. I think the sound overall is decent, but it just it just isn't versatile. It just has this one sound and you can't get anything different out of it. Uh, so it mm, doesn't really inspire me personally, but I think it's pretty cool to play. But I think it's pretty cool to play with the effects. And see, this is, this is exactly what I was talking about earlier. The way too long release and if we make it short still too long make it even shorter and now it sounds very unnatural this is kind of okay and i think the gimmick with this one is mainly that you can make it sound crazy with with these if you want something like this go for this one I see why some people might like it. 3.6 out of 10, I think that's fair. The next one, Keys of the 70s. This is just something like a sampler and it comes with better libraries than the piano but we're talking about the piano today and i think i noticed it's in mono that's pretty disappointing yeah it's it's uh yeah yeah let's let's go through it let's say four out of ten next one labs soft piano Thank you. 
beloved by trap producers. I think it's not versatile at all. You can only get this one signature sound out of it, which might be pretty inspiring. And it also sounds pretty good. But it's, yeah, it's not even that customizable. So let's give it a 5.5 out of 10. That's good. Next one. The Tuxedo by Reflect Audio. This one, this one confuses me because sometimes when I approach it, I think, oh, that's actually pretty decent. And other times when I approach it, it's like, Meh. I don't want this. Uh, let's, let's go through it. This is okay, in my opinion, but uh, the stock release is terrible. Like, that's what I'm talking about. The release is way too long. That's not how a piano sounds. It maybe sounds like this if you pedal it. And um, there's like a chorus on it. And if we take down the release, that's better. 6 out of 10. The Versilian Upright Piano. mind very similar to the tuxedo um but it sounds different actually i don't know why i, I why uh, six out of ten six out of ten six out of ten and uh, it gets a 5.1 out of 10 these these numbers don't always make sense or add up that's what i think of it the golden piano interesting one it comes with pads you can put on top of the piano and tines uh, but the piano on its own i think is decent i'd give it a 6 out of 10 for versatility i'd give it a 6 out of 10 for inspiration i would say yeah it sounds pretty good and it's pretty customizable so that's a solid 5.9 out of 10 makes sense next one The Chess Piano Light is for Sforzando or other SFC players. Um, it's by Gariton. You'll find it if you Google it. I think it's okay. I would give it the following four numbers, which overall adds up to 6 out of 10, if you do the math. Um, the general MIDI pianos are interesting. What I wanted to say is some of the best free VST pianos are hidden inside bigger whole libraries like the Hellion Sonic and uh, let's not start with this one let's start with this one it comes with a bunch of instruments and you can add it free to any DAW and the one that it has is just a general MIDI pianos
you get them included in Halion Sonic, but if I understand it correctly, they're part of Windows, so they should be on every on every operating system anyways, and they also come in FL Studio, if I know this correctly. And I think they're actually pretty decent compared with some other free ones. I would give it the following numbers. If I remember correctly, that's the same as the Golden Piano. But overall, I think it's a 6 out of 10. Slightly better than the Golden Piano if you're just after that piano sound, in my opinion. Next one. The Hybrid Keys are also part of Complete Start. It's part of the Play series. And I'm not sure if there's actually a good acoustic piano in here, but I hope there is. It's called Hybrid Keys. That's not an acoustic piano. It has definitely nice sounding keys and pianos, but not necessarily acoustic ones. But if we take this one, that sounds similar to like a soft piano. I think that can be in the running. talking about the preset atmospheric which actually reminds me quite a bit of something like a soft piano and i think it's comparable to that in the way that it's not versatile but inspiring but because of the nature of hybrid keys i gave it a bit more versatility than i rated the labs soft piano and it's a six point out of ten clearly definitely next one key zone classic This one is very well known as far as I know, and uh, it's pretty good. It has three different pianos. And I think my favorite is the Steinway. You get some basic controls. And I would give it a 7 out of 10. Next one. Novel Piano is for Hellion Sonic, and I think this is also kind of similar to the soft piano, but it's different and there's this one preset which I kind of like, I think it's the scoring piano, and the other ones are a bit too limited for me. As I explained multiple times, for me it's important to be able to get different sounds of the piano, and uh, you can kind of do it but not that well, so I'd give it a 4 out of 10, even though it's actually pretty good and pretty cool. 7 out of 10 overall. Uh, the demo for Addictive Keys shows that Addictive Keys is great. But it's limited because you can't play the lowest and highest notes and that makes it not as versatile as it could be and because you yeah 
I mean, it's not really fair. It's a great product that they sell, but the demo is a is just limited a bit because of the limited keys you can use. But the sound is great. Seven out of ten. Now we're getting into my top five. I like the sound overall. That sounds great. But whenever you lift off, there's like this weird filter sweep going on. Which I don't like and it's distorting. It's too loud. Neo Piano is my fifth favorite. I think it's very versatile and inspiring and great and blah, blah, blah. But it, it has this issue. There's a weird filter sweep going on and it really annoys me after I noticed it. Sometimes you can kind of fix it to make it not as noticeable. It's pretty customizable. And I think in general, it sounds very good. 10 out of 10. Next one, ratio. Um, which goes into the sign player, uh, which is released by Orchestral Tools, the free grand piano, is my fourth favorite. And those are the numbers I would give it. I would give this a 6.9 out of 10. It's not amazing. I'm actually not sure what I want to prove these numbers. I just like to do PowerPoints. Let's go to the next one. Uh, the Monastery Grant by Melda Production. The Monastery Grant by Melda Productions for the M Sound Factory player. Everything's free. Is very nice. What I like about this one is it's mic'd with three different microphones and you can actually pick and choose which ones you want to use and blend them together, which makes it very customizable. And I think you can even get soft piano sounds out of this one. Very versatile, very good. I really like this one. I would give it a 8.4 out of 10. Next one, which is actually the second to last one, this is the runner up. And soon we'll find out who is the big winner. For Sample Tank 4, a great sampler by IK Multimedia. Comes with many great instruments. It is versatile, it is inspiring, it is... To be honest, maybe I prefer the Monastery Ground. But uh, this is my second favorite. Nevertheless, I give it an 8.4. Great. Mm, the last one. Sonic Couture has this free Hammersmith. Because it's free, you can't do a lot. You can just turn this knob. But I think that's a good sounding free piano. The winner of today's contest is... 
Hammersmith Free by Sonic Couture for Contact Player. And it gets the following numbers. And it sounds pretty good. It's an 8.5. You see, the three pianos we tested today, the best one I could find, I would rate an 8.5. The best one I could find, I would rate an 8.5 out. The best one I could find, I would rate an 8.5 out of 10. Which is very good. I mean, compared to the one we heard at the beginning, my digital piano, which I use... I don't think that's a 10 out of 10 and either, I think so. that's enough of that. If you actually managed to watch the whole video, I'm very impressed. It's not even that great and it's very long and it took me way too long to make for what it is. So thank you for watching. I hope you found a piano that you can use in your music production. If you want more tips, maybe check out these two videos that I did recently about random plugins that are also free. That's kind of my jam, free plugins to make music. Uh, subscribe if you like what I'm doing. And I think I want to make one of these videos about synthesizers, but uh, this one took me, uh, you wouldn't believe how long and it came out with this. So, so I have to rethink my strategy a bit, but I'm, I'll stick around. You should too.